Okay, so we're standing out at the road and we're going to go over the 360 intro and the prep and the, the five W's, because this is what you need to do when you're out in front of a single family residence before you start the filming process. Now, one of the things you want to do is go over the basics again. It's a 3-2 with a carport. Make sure you understand what it is that you're going to be filming because you're going to introduce that. In addition to that, you want to do the 360 around the neighborhood and you'll see what that looks like and you're going to finish with and make sure that you include the five W's the who, what, when, why, and where so that people know what to expect when they watch your video. That'll get a lot of people to watch the video to the end and you'd like to have that for a variety of reasons. Alright, so let's get started. I'll give you an example. Okay, here we are at 3575 Dunes Road. This is Todd Breen. Today is October 2nd, 2012 and I'm going to give you a complete video walkthrough tour. At the end of the tour, you'll know whether or not you'd like to live here. So before we go in, I'm just giving you a look at the neighborhood so you can get an idea of uh, who your neighbors will be. And now let's give you the tour. Okay, so that took me about 30 to 40 seconds to do a proper introduction, to do my 360, and to set the viewer's expectations. Really important, very good practices for you guys to go through. Thanks for watching. Okay, so camera holding skills for a video tour are very significant because if you don't have the right camera and you're not holding it properly, it's very challenging to make a viewable, watchable video that people are going to enjoy watching. So let me go over a couple of details and then we'll show you how to hold the camera. Occasionally we're asked, hey, can I use just an iPhone? No wide angle lens and just do a video tour. Good luck holding the camera really steady with just your wrist and your arm is very challenging. So that's why we go to the trouble of suggesting the right gear. Also, if you get a wide angle but you don't have the right equipment on it, it's still very hard to hold it still and make the process very smooth. So in this case we recommend this gear and holding it like this means that you can really get a steady shot. So the camera holding skills are to lock your elbows and not be holding it out in front of you. You're going to get tired if you hold it out a lot. So try and get comfortable because you're going to have to hold the camera in the same position for you know five to eight or nine minutes depending on the size of the place. So usually this is a good way to do it. You'll notice that I've got this custom piece that we uh, designed for you to where it can stay in. I'm not having to hold my arms out. So by twisting this to point into me, I get a little bit more comfort. I get my elbows locked at my side. That's a very comfortable position to be shooting video in as, a hold a, as opposed to holding your arms out. So if you hold your cameras like this, really good. Your microphone again, if you point your microphone like this, you're speaking this way, it's recording that way, make sure you point your microphone right at you. If you don't, you won't get a good quality audio track. So make sure that that's done. You're holding your camera this way and you know how to hold the camera now. Okay, in this segment, we're going to teach you how to walk properly so that you get a smooth, pleasant video to watch. So there's a few things that we're gonna go over. The first is your shoes. The second is your stride. So ladies, if you love wearing those high heels, leave them in the car. You gotta wear flats because high heels make you take short, bouncy steps and that might be pleasant in other situations. It's not so pleasant for our purposes today. All right, so you wanna wear flats and you wanna be able to walk smoothly and comfortably in them, okay? Another thing is, this is a wood floor in here and you can hear, I'm gonna be quiet and just walk, you, you'll hear my feet. Okay, so if you don't want to hear feet, then you would wear running shoes. That's up to you. Uh, anything with a softer rubber sole will be a little bit better. That's kind of highly technical, but at least don't wear anything that's high heels. Now when you walk, a lot of people say, how do I walk when I'm shooting a video tour? And 
it's very simple. If you pretend the camera is a cup of coffee and you're walking over white carpet, you're off to a good start. You wouldn't go real fast and just throw it around or you'd splash. So we're trying not to get any video splash. No coffee on the white carpet. So if I come in and I say, and here's the room, let me give you the tour, I'm gonna to walk from here to the kitchen in a way that's pleasant. I've got my arms locked and I'm just gonna walk like this. Okay? And it's, it's fairly progressive and smooth. You're not going super slow to make it boring. You're not going so fast and moving the camera around that it's, that it's hard to follow. So just find your happy place and make sure it's a smooth experience for the viewer. Okay, when you're at the part of the video tour, when you first walk through the front door of the, uh, the unit, stop, give everybody a nice, steady look at what they first see when they come in, and then describe the floor plan. If you're shopping online and you're looking at new construction, they'll give you a blueprint or a layout or a floor plan. We don't always have that. In fact, we rarely have that in property management. This is your opportunity to give a visual floor plan or blueprint to the viewer. It's crucial that you do this. So what I like to do is come in and then there's another segment where we talk about making one pass. So come in and go to the left or come in and go to the right, but come in on one side and say, okay, now when we first come inside, I like to give you an idea of the floor plan so you have an idea of how your home will be laid out. Over here to the left we have the living room area as you first come in and then there's the kitchen with the walk through to the carport behind it we have the family room with the sliding glass doors out to the backyard and over here to the right with the hallway with the three bedrooms and the two bathrooms so let's give you the tour and then you walk in and begin giving the tour okay that gives a really pleasant intro to the viewer that they're not gonna get otherwise. Otherwise, it's a bunch of rooms that aren't connected and they don't visualize the layout of the home. They can't envision themselves living there. And we've actually worked with a visual and cognitive neuroscientist in creating the best flow for these video tours, anchoring the home at the front door, critically important. When you get to the top of the stairs, do the same thing so that they know the layout of the second floor. When you get to a hallway, do the same thing. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is the, the bedroom wing of the property. And when you come in, there's a guest bath to the left. There's the um, coat closet and air conditioning. The door at the end to the left is the master suite. A second bedroom and a third bedroom right here. And now let's give you the tour and then you step in and start filming. So make sure that you describe the floor plan at every available opportunity. Your viewers will love it. It will make your video more memorable and what they remember, they can rent. Okay, now we're gonna teach you how to do a single pass of the rooms that you're showing. This is so important because if you don't do a single pass, this is what a viewer will see. So I'm turning on my camcorder, and if you don't do it right, this is what it looks like. You come in straight, and then you go, here's the room, and then you cross back over again, and then some people even turn back the same way. And that's a whole lot of this and this, and that's not pleasant. So let's show you a single pass. It means we go in and we choose one angle of the room, and we show that angle. So walking into the family room, you can see it's got a cathedral ceiling, really nice. You can also see that there's a uh, built-in bookshelf right there with a the light. A nice double sliding glass door out to the backyard. And now let's continue by taking you through to show you the bedrooms. Now that's a real pleasant way to make your footage, so make sure you do a single pass of each room.